Hello everyone, uh, today we are installing a competition muzzle brake. Um, this one is an engraved brake from Battleborn's Best. It has a flag on top and a We the People on the bottom. Uh, it's going to be installed with these two ports on the top 12 o'clock inline position of your barrel and it's going to be installed with a standard crush washer. All right, so we have our muzzle brake here. Uh, we're installing it on um, a long barrel rifle here, but there are nine millimeter versions of this. A lot of people will put them on a pistol. Um, it's a little bit harder on the pistol because there's uh, a little bit harder to get that pistol in something that will hold it steady so that you can put enough torque on to crush against that crush washer. It can be done though, um, and it uses basically the same process that we're using here. So we have our crush washer. There's two sides of it. Um, there's a cupped portion and there's a rounded portion. The cupped portion goes forward towards the brake and then it basically just hand tightens on here. All right, for this demonstration, let's say that we've hand tightened our brake and it went to three quarters position. So we need three quarters rotation in order to index correctly. Um, for that, I usually like to use this large bore screwdriver. Um, and I will run it through these center ports and grab it on either side, and then I just use it to torque three quarters of the rotation until, until the two ports are in line with the top of the barrel. Um, so that crush washer will allow um, a full rotation if you need it, um, but three quarters of rotation, um, definitely a half rotation, and if I need a, a less than half a rotation to index correctly, I usually like to use a couple drops of blue Loctite. Not red, because red is permanent, but blue Loctite will allow you to torque the brake on with less than half of a rotation, and it'll keep it steady once that blue Loctite cures, so you don't have to worry about it coming loose. And that's it. That's essentially how you do it with a screwdriver. You can also do it with a wrench. Um, there's some wrench flats on some of these. Some of them don't even have the wrench flats, so you kind of have to use the screwdriver. But if you're going to use a wrench, I usually like to add some duct tape to either side um, before I wrench on it so they don't mar up the finish. And there's also another way. Let me loosen this up. Um, the third way is if you have a jam nut. Now the jam nut is actually threaded. It'll be threaded to the same as the barrel. And you put that on first and it goes all the way down. Now you can put the brake on directly. And how this works is you line it up, index it correctly, and then you tighten this jam nut and then use a wrench and you tighten just the nut against the brake. Um, some people also use the crush washer and that makes sure that it's never gonna come loose if you tighten it up against the crush washer. It crushes against the brake and that, that amount of pressure will hold it from moving. But if you tighten it with just the brake and the jam nut, it usually won't come loose. But you are gonna have to have it uh, in some sort of vice block or something so you can get it tight enough so that it won't come loose while you're shooting. And that is essentially the easy way to install any kind of competition muzzle brake. Uh, there are also uh, a shark muzzle brake. They work the same way. Uh, they're going to be installed the same way, and they're going to have the two ports on top, just like any of the other brakes. You don't want to have it sideways. Sideways is not good. And that's it. 